Hi, I'm Tiru again. So uh, now I'm going to show another stimulation for experiment 1, part B, activity 2. So this is a series resistance circuit which is in a uh, AC form. So just now we did a stimulation for DC circuit. So this is a uh, AC. So I'm using a uh, protease again. So let's get started. So we need components like a uh, resistor. like a resistor so we have the resistor here and then we need a need a power power supply which is a uh, in ac ac power supply ac supply see voltage supply here it's voltage supply So we have here. So we're going to use this AC voltage supply. And then we need a we need a AC emitter and voltmeter. So AC emitter and voltmeter. So just set here emitter and then AC voltmeter at here. We need to go into use two um, AC voltmeter, one here and another one here, and then we need to use a resistor. Okay, two resistors, and then we need AC power supply, voltage power supply, AD. Okay, it's here. Then we arrange. We arrange the components properly. Okay, we okay. Just we need to change the position. So we need to change the position just rotate and then then we just connect all the components so from resistor to emitter and then from emitter to power supply AC power supply so this circuit is uh, in a series form and then we connect uh, each voltmeter AC voltmeter here parallel to uh, each resistor So we connect here. Okay, so now we need to set the values for all these components. Okay, for uh, we set uh, this as a R1, and then this is a R2. So this is an emitter. Emitter we need to set in a milliampere, the range, the display range we need to set as a milliampere because in the result uh, they are in a milliampere so AC milliampere and then this uh, AC voltage both of these and then this is a power supply AC power supply so for the power supply we need to set as a, a 50 VAC 50 Hertz so we set uh, for amplitude 50 and then 
for frequency 50 also so then so for the AC voltage supply we have a 50 amplitude and a 50 Hertz frequency and then we set that name as a 50 uh, VAC and then 50 Hertz so easy to remember and then we name the voltmeter for R1 uh, as a V1 and then for R2 we set as a V2 so we set as a V2 and then for emitter we set as a A so yeah we have uh, we have uh, set the names and uh, next we need to change the value for the R1 and R2 based on the given table so firstly we need to change R1 as 210 ohms and for R2 we change to 390 ohms and then we run the stimulation Then we run the stimulation we get 58.9 uh, milli amperes for the emitter reading and then for the reading of voltmeter for r1 is 12.4 volt and for r2 is 23.0 volts so then we stop the stimulation and change the value for the r1 and r2 again so we change to r390 for R1 and then for R2 is 470 so we start again the stimulation and then we get a 41.4 uh, sorry 41.1 milli amperes for emitter reading and then for R1 we have a 16.0 volts and uh, R2 is a uh, 19.3 volts so we change we stop the stimulation and then we change again then we change again uh, we'll get a uh, and change to 470 470 for r1 and uh, 860 860 for r2 then we run again the stimulation we will get the emitter reading as a 26.6 milli amperes and then for v1 we have a 12.5 volts and v2 is 22.8 volts then we stop again then we change the value of the r1 and r2 for the last one which is a 210 for r1 and a 860 okay 860 for r2 so let's start the stimulation again then we get a 33.0 for emitter readings 33.0 milli amperes and then for v1 we have a 6.93 for v2 we have a 28.4 volts so that's it for this stimulation so after we read the stimulation for activity 2 just now we need to find uh, some of the values which is a calculation value and a measurement value so just now we did for the measurement value uh, we have i uh, in a milli ampere v1 v2 in a volt and a v total so just now we have uh, we have done the stimulation so we get the result the, so this is the 58.9 for for this load for this R1 load and then 41.1 milliampere for this one 390 and then 470 
so 26.6 for 470 and 860 r1 and r2 so 33.0 for 210 and uh, 860 so that one is uh for current so v1 v2 also we have uh, the values the values are given here and then v plus v1 and v2 we get a v total here so this is the measured value so now we have to find the calculation value uh, we need to find the calculation value by using the formula there are uh, two types of formulas which is uh, we can use ohm's law or current div uh, voltage divided law so i have used uh, ohm's law which is v equals to ir so by using that formula we can find the current v1 v2 and uh, v total so if you see all the values or results that we have obtained in a measurement value are the same that we have obtained from the simulation are the same as the calculation value so if you use the v equal to ir we can get the same exactly answers uh, for the respectively current v1 v2 and uh, v total so that's it for from now thank you